the Bentawai Islands are one of the most remote surf destinations in the world. Waves wrap perfectly around reef, jungle untouched, villages barely connected to the outside world. As a surfer, these waves feel unreal. The adventure, the row feeling, the way the place makes you slow down. It's easily one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. But beneath it all, under the calm surf and quiet mornings, lies one of the world's most dangerous fault lines in the world. This isn't just paradise. It's a ticking clock. This was my third time visiting the Mentawai Islands and to be honest, it does take a long time to get there, but once you get there, the level of untouched raw beauty, it's just like nowhere else I've been before. The Mentawai Islands sit right on the Sunda Mega Thrust, a huge fold where two tectonic plates are slowly crashing together underground. It's the same fault that caused the 2004 earthquake and tsunami, a 9.1 quake that took over 230,000 lives across Indonesia, Thailand, Sri Lanka and India. But here's the thing. The part of the fault under the Mentawais hasn't broken in over 200 years. Indonesian geologist Jenny Hilman Natawijaja studied coral in this area and traced big past quakes to 1797 and 1833. His work shows this part of the fault is still stuck and building pressure. Recent GPS and radar data like ALOS 2 show the land near the Pagai Islands is still moving up and down, a sign that stress is piling up with no release. Maps show the South and North Pagai sinking by as much as 230 millimeters. More proof this fault is stuck and ready to snap at any time. The same pressure on the ground, the pushing of Earth's plates, is what helps shape these islands into a surf paradise. Waves like HTs, telescopes, Kandui, they were in random. They were formed by deep movement and violence under the sea. That's what makes this place so special. The waves here are perfect, shaped by shifting plates, and each year, thousands of surfers travel here to ride them. We cross oceans, ride ferries, sleep in wooden huts, all chasing that one perfect wave. But many don't realize we're living, surfing and sleeping just meters above a powerful fault that hasn't moved in centuries. And we all kind of hope it never does. If or when this part of the fall breaks, it won't happen slowly. It'll be fast and it'll be big. Scientists say big earthquakes here come in cycles. In the past, there were never more than 40 years between them. And now it's been more than 200. A 2014 study in the Journal of Geophysical Research shows this segment still holds huge unresolved pressure. And that kind of pressure doesn't really fade. It has to break. On Sipora Island, Kor shows decades of slow sinking. No signs of uplift or release. Just pressure, building year after year. If the quake hits, it won't just shake the ground. It could trigger a 9.0 earthquake followed by a massive tsunami that hits the shore in under 20 minutes. 
No time to climb, no time to warn, no time to run. The city of Padang, home to nearly a million people, is one of the closest cities. And scientists here aren't asking if it will happen anymore. Now they're asking when. But here, life just goes on. Fishermen leave before the sun comes up. Boats cut through glassy water like everything is normal. Kids run barefoot through jungle path. No one talks about folds. No one thinks about earthquakes. People just leave. And maybe that's what makes this place feel even more unreal. Because when the ground stays still for so long, you forget it's alive. But it's not silent, not deep down. Places like Sikichi are sinking 4.4 millimeter per year. Beosak used to sink 7.4 millimeter per year before slowing down in the late 80s. No signs of lifting, no break in coral growth, just slow, steady sinking. Scientists all point to the same truth. This is a seismic gap. It's quiet, but it's not safe. Because even if life feels calm above ground, underneath, the earth is still loading pressure. Slowly, quietly. Maybe the wave never comes. Maybe the fall holds for another year, decade, or maybe even a century. Or maybe it snaps tomorrow, while someone's paddling out for one last wave. Because that's how these things happen. Quiet, until they're not. This is Mentawai, a surf paradise, and a reminder that even the most beautiful places can break without warning. What's up? Thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy this new format of a uh, narrated documentary. I want to get more into this kind of videos, so expect one of these or so a month. And I'm going to try and explore new cultures, new destinations, and just dive deeper into everything that I find fascinating and I hope you too. So thanks so much for sticking around. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week in the next video. See ya.